Ultrasounds of the unborn often shed light on the reality of life in the womb. The technology has come a long way since grainy images from the early days of the abortion debate. Mia! Mia? Hi! Welcome! How are you? As a trained sonographer, Maria Christophilus is passionate about the unborn. She often talks to babies in the womb and says they often respond. They blink. You can tell if they're lefties or righties. They have reflexes. They hiccup. I mean, they're opening their eyes. You see their lashes. You see hair. You see dimples when they smile. You see them frowning. There's nothing they cannot do. As head of Pregnancy, a Fairfax, Virginia company, that offers three, four, and 5D ultrasounds, Christophilus provides a unique experience for moms to see their growing baby in astonishing detail. She says many are amazed by what they see on the screen. Do you love mommy? Oh my goodness, can you hear me? Can you really hear us? Do you love your mommy? Hi, mommy. The initial thing is shock. They cannot believe that what they're seeing is real. Ultrasounds have also made a powerful difference in the fight for life. 93% of women who have one choose to keep their babies. 40 Days for Life, we see so many women that choose life after seeing their baby on an ultrasound, particularly when there's, there's more than one baby, you know, twins. We just had a set of triplets saved during this last fall campaign. I feel really happy. It's like, it's really good to see the baby moving gives me a lot of peace. Here's the money shot, so cute, we got a heartbeat. The Crisis Pregnancy Center of Tidewater performs hundreds of ultrasounds each year. While not HD, the 2D sonograms they offer still make a difference. A lot of times our patients come in and they're not really sure um, how they're feeling about being pregnant. So the ultrasound really just makes it more real to them. Um, a lot of times they're just uninformed. Um, they're just told that the pregnancy is a blob of tissue or a clump of cells. These scientific advancements come at a time when the legality of abortion is being challenged. The country now waits for a U.S. Supreme Court decision in the case involving a Mississippi law that bans abortions after the 15th week of pregnancy. Many argue the outcome could directly threaten Roe v. Wade. Dr. Gracie Christie, a diagnostic radiologist and policy advisor for the Catholic Association, submitted a brief in the case, describing the science used in the 1973 ruling as outdated. At that point in the development of man's knowledge, as Justice Harry Blackman put it in Roe, there was simply no consensus about when life begins. In other words, the fetus could not be said with any certainty to be alive and therefore wasn't worthy of legal protection. I think that the science uh, in 1973 was very different and people had different conceptions about what was going on in the womb, but we can't say that anymore. Now with 3D ultrasound, you see actual you know, fat, plump cheeks. You see a baby sucking their little thumb and making, making um, facial uh, gestures that, that are so human. Christie hopes the court will embrace the high-tech progress that reveals the humanity of pre-born babies and end abortion in America. What we're hoping for is that the, the Supreme Court justices will make that heart-to-heart -heart connection. A connection Christophilus sees making a difference through her work each day. Some of the clients come in and blatantly tell us, I'm considering an abortion. There's also... Um, stories that the women have said and come back to me, you had no idea that I was contemplating this. And by you performing these ultrasounds, you've given me the confidence to believe that I'm not alone. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.